Impression trays are used to carry impression materials when dental impressions are taken. We distinguish between two types, prefabricated and individualized. In the image above, you see several different types of prefabricated impression trays. At the bottom of the image, we have individualized impression trays. The prefabricated trays are factory-made impression trays, made of metal or plastic materials, and come in a host of different shapes for toothed, partially toothed, and toothless jaws. With individualized trays, the dental technician produces an individual impression tray customized to your jaw. In order to do this, a pre-impression is initially taken with a prefabricated tray. This provides the technician with a rough overview of your jaw, from which he can produce the individual tray. This is helpful in the case of difficult jaw conditions, such as large or small jaws, or after tumor surgeries, etc. The mechanical retentions between the tray and the impression material are achieved through various forms and holes. However, before inserting the impression material, a bonding agent should always be applied as well in order to prevent the finished impression from detaching from the tray. Although this certainly complicates the process of cleaning the trays, it results in less distortion of the impression compound. This is important because impression distortions can lead to a leaking dental prosthesis. In order to economize impression material, impressions are often only taken in certain parts of the jaw. The impression tray is either not completely filled with impression compound, in the film you see how only the right side is filled, or only partial trays are used from the outset, as shown here. Partial trays are imprecise because the plaster models can't be clearly aligned with one another. When partial trays are used, the technician receives partial models. These are pivoted relative to one another and thus can't be positioned clearly. The dental prosthesis, shown in blue here, cannot be molded accurately. A complete impression results in complete jaw models and thus in a so-called three-point contact. Therefore, the models can't be swiveled. Only under these conditions is the technician able to produce an exact fitting dental prosthesis.